Maybe it's more easy listening. You had also a new keyboard player pretty late in the process and Ooh. also a new uh, singer. Um, could you change what was their input in the band maybe that, that brought new elements uh, to you and new views to the... Well, let, let me say first of all that they uh, had a qu quite hard time learning the three former albums uh, by heart and learning two hours of new material. Did you, know? you have to do that before performing live, you mean? Or? Well, um, they had to get into the stuff, you know, and Daniel was acquainted with the textures, uh, but Uri not, not really, so we had to listen to the albums and stuff and get into the, the music and the, the stuff that we write, how we, you know, the, how we uh, use all these time signatures and weird riffs and stuff. Um, but that went okay, and well, I think um, Daniel's vocals are really close to Eric's vocals, and in that way he brings along the same kind of vibe, the same same kind of soul. But everybody got his own attitude to the music. Um, well, I, I don't know. How would you describe it? Yeah, it's, it's the same kind of thing that Daniel brings along. It's the same kind of thing as Eric did. So. Was he allowed to change things, maybe? That, that yeah, thing? Uh, allowed. No, he wasn't allowed. Yeah, yeah of course he wasn't allowed. Nah, yeah, but uh, no, we, we wanted, the plan was we, we wanted to stay textures, as textures is, as a band. But of course, he's got his own things. And Uri has that too, you know, and you have to, you, you, it's not good to struggle against those things. You, you, you need to get the benefits from them. So. It takes some time to, for Daniel and Uri to, to, to get accustomed to the way we work and the way we make music, but he has to do his own thing. Even if he sings the same melody as Eric does, he does it in his own way. Okay. What if you now listen, maybe a little bit, you zoom out a little bit and you, you look at your record, what do you think you have achieved on, on this album that you didn't, or maybe on previous ones? Well, the, the songs are more compact, uh, how do you say? It's more, they are song based, you know, as Silhouettes also was, but yeah, I don't know, maybe it's more simple in a, in a certain way, you know, it's, it's technical for, for, to play a lot of stuff, but it, maybe it's more easy listening. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes I'm compared with cooking, you know, if you put in too many ingredients, the whole recipe gets fucked up. You have to use the right amount uh, of ingredients. Uh, and that's what we did with uh, this album. And that's the why the, yeah, the balance is, is, is more right than uh, with the former albums. Well, you know, every album has its own vibe, of course, and every album, at least for us, is the perfect album. And this new album as well, but each album is perfect in its own way. And this album is really, yeah, balanced out in, well, more, yeah, in the compact way. Was it done on purpose or did it came away along the process of, of making it? No, it certainly came with the process. It's, you know, we write songs... Um, um, Is it, I think it's like emotional. Yeah, on an emotional thing. basis. Yeah. And we write songs, you know, that we like 100%, where we get goosebumps from on our arms. And in that way, it's all very spontaneously. It's not like we want that, that, and that. You know, we well, before we write songs, we we do not pick up, pick out like we want 30% of it to be that, 50% of it to be that, and then we have a perfect metal song. You know, it's it's not like that. It does not work like a pop song. We just write like, um, you know, maybe like the way we are with big tension waves and um, yeah, and and a bit of stream of consciousness. You know, like like we just let it go, and afterwards we see if it really fits or if it really yeah. works. And if it doesn't work, we throw it away. That's why we had like yeah. two hours of material and only 50 minutes are left. Yeah, good question, by the way. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, um, I was just wondering. You mentioned in the previous interview that you didn't listen to metal. You don't listen to metal that much as you used to, maybe in your younger years. Are you aware of what's going on in? in uh, metal bands or yeah. do you stay away from them a little bit? Of course, you, you, we meet a lot of bands and we play with them and we listen to them also but not mainly, you know, we're not guys that only listen to metal. We, we listen to 
like from classical to jazz, the fusion, everything. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you maybe look into the future a little bit, do you think the next Texas album will continue in the same vein, make it maybe even more compact, or is that hard to predict? It's hard to predict. Yeah. For, for me, as we discussed like last week on a meeting, we'd rather like tour, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd rather do shows and deliver this music. We're just finished, you know, we, we wanted to get this music out of there, out there and, and just play for people. And then we'll see what we do. The, yeah, the record is now coming, be released in, uh, I think, Global in September. Um, yeah, what's the, the plan for after the release for you? Well, the release, when the release that day, we are in the, in the US on a big tour. Uh, after that, we do some Dutch shows and France, Belgium, Germany. In, in U yeah, and the UK. And then more Europe, probably. There are plans to go to Australia. There are plans to go to India again. Um, that's America the thing. Also? Yeah, well, yeah, that's the, the plans are there. But the thing is, the more you do, the more you have to maintain. So if you if you go worldwide, so to speak, you have to go there again and again. So it's really busy. You can we can go and tour like 300 days a year if mm -hmm. we want, but uh, we don't. What is the max you would like to how, how to balance? Yeah, I it think out 100. To find the yeah. Yeah. And you write already on some new materials. That's something that comes after that after you. It will come. everything out. It will come. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck with it. Thank you. Yeah.